Sick of getting blisters? Stop slipping and just be comfortable with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Great fit, great comfort, lots of grip, and an even better price. Available now at puregripsocks.com. Has Nike really been defeated, or are we just caught up in the hype of Adidas finally bringing back the F50? Let's find out. Starting off with the price, where the top end F50 Elite with a lacing system retails for $260, which is conveniently the exact same price as the Nike Zoom Mercurial Vapor 15 Elite, which also retails for $260. Of course, with the Mercurials though, you do have the option of the Superfly variant, which is the same boot with a mid-cut collar this is going to run you 285 though both of which by the way you can pick up below the normal retail prices by way of some exclusive sr4u coupon codes via the links down below when it comes to touch or feel for the ball both of these boots attempt to deliver on that concept of providing a barefoot feel and they both do a pretty good job but they do so in ways that are definitely noticeably different where you're going to find the vapor posit plus synthetic of the Mercurial, which is technically a textile base like the F50s, it's ultimately thinner, more plasticky, more rigid in terms of its overall feel, not in a way that's uncomfortable, but certainly if you're looking for that more raw, pingy, barefoot feel with no extra padding whatsoever, this is going to offer more of that than what you're gonna get from the F50. Also in terms of grip on the surface of the upper, there's just less of it with the Mercs than what you're gonna find from the Adidas Alternative, where this fiber touch material is still super thin, but is definitely thicker than what you're gonna find from the Mercs. It also has a little bit more of that kind of knitted sock-like quality to it in terms of its overall pliability and feel against the foot. Granted, it's still very raw. There's not much in the way of additional padding here, but it is noticeably thicker than the Mercurials. Plus you also have the sprint web texturing on the surface highlighted here in white on this particular colorway that gives it a gritty touch against your finger, but also provides extra grip on the ball that is noticeably more significant than what's on offer from the Mercurial alternative. So if you prefer something that is thin, but also has a little bit more kind of softness, pliability, as well as some extra grip, you'll probably prefer the F50s. Whereas if you like that more kind of structured raw sensation to your super thin in speed boots, both of which really offer no protection, then you might prefer the feel of the Mercurials. Speaking of uppers, lockdown and responsiveness is such a huge performance characteristic of a pair of speed boots and obviously is a big part of the way that they're going to feel on your feet. And when you're comparing these two, there really is no competition. The more structured feel of the upper along with the shaping of the Mercurial makes this feel significantly more responsive than what you're going to find from the F50. Not to say that this is an unresponsive pair of football boots, but certainly there's just less structure to the upper. It has more of that stretch when you're pushing off versus the Mercurials that give you that kind of one-to-one -one instantaneous reaction time. So when it comes to lockdown and responsiveness, both are good, but the Mercs are definitely better. When it comes to sole plate tech, I don't actually think there's that much of a difference in the base plastic of either of these two boots, where neither of them really have a super stiff feel to the forefoot. They will spring back to some extent, but definitely less so than what we found from past Adidas X models and certainly the new Ultra 5 Carbon from Puma. But I think the big differentiator here is of course the utilization of that air zoom unit that runs three quarters of the length on the underside of the sole plate in the Mercurial. It does give you that very unique kind of underfoot cushion feel that Nike is definitely marketing as kind of a speed element. I don't necessarily think it makes you faster. I just think it feels really nice underfoot and gives you an element of cushion that you won't really find from other football boots without feeling overly bulky versus what's on offer here in the Sprint Frame 360 from Adidas, more so just being a simple lightweight plastic sole plate that feels solid without being heavy. In other words, if you're looking for more of that kind of techie feel, I definitely think the Mercurial wins. Whereas if you prefer something just more simple, the F50 sole plate is really solid. But in terms of tech for tech, I think what Nike has is more impressive. Which brings us to traction, where again, these are speed boots. I think most people expect something as aggressive as possible. And in that regard, it's really no contest. The Mercs with the bladed studs having that kind of three-sided shape in the forefoot, and then the super aggressive sharp blades under the heel just provide more bite when pushing off and generally just better traction overall 
if you're looking for as much grip as possible when accelerating, decelerating, changing direction, you do lose out on a little bit of that freedom to twist and pivot quite as easily because of the aggressive shaping of the studs, but certainly in comparison to what the F50 has on offer, where you do get some blades in the heel that are less aggressive, you do get some blades closer to the front that are less aggressive, but the main body of the stud pattern in the forefoot is pretty much made up of conical studs. So while the traction is definitely sufficient for a pair of high-end football boots, it's definitely more geared towards being well-rounded and arguably a little bit more traditional, which as I've said in past videos, does kind of relate this back a little bit more to earlier F50 Addy Zero models, but certainly if you're comparing it to the latest and greatest in speed boots, if you want the most aggressive traction, you should be opting for the Mercs. And then there's the weight. When the F50 Addy Zero first launched in 2010, they were significantly lighter than anything Nike had on offer. But is that actually still the case? Both in the same size, 9.5 US, we'll start off with the F50s and you can see that they weigh in at 6.7 ounces, the equivalent of 189 grams. Remember those numbers, we'll change the scale back to ounces and we'll throw on the Vapor 15 Elite and you can see that they weigh in at 6.6 .6 ounces, the equivalent of 188 grams. That's a weight difference of exactly one gram, maybe even less than that, which really just boils down to manufacturing tolerances. So I really think if you weighed another pair of Mercurials and another pair of F50s, even in the same colorways, you could find that sometimes the F50 is a little bit lighter and sometimes the Mercs are. In this particular example, obviously the Mercs were technically one gram less, but at the end of the day, they are pretty well exactly the the same in weight so again there can't really be a winner here for as much as we've talked about the differences in tech between these two football boots what ultimately matters more than anything is the way that they fit and feel on feet because you can have all the tech in the world but if the boots don't feel good then what are they really worth to anybody and in the case of the mercurial compared to the f50 they could not be more different from each other. I think the biggest thing that you're gonna notice between these two is the tighter overall wrap of the Mercurial. It has more of that kind of squeeze your foot sensation, and that's down to lower volume, a slightly slimmer profile, as well as a more structured upper, where when you compare it to the F50, I don't wanna say that it's a more relaxed fit, but certainly compared to the Mercurial, it doesn't have that same kind of squeeze your foot sensation, which you may love, you may hate. At the end of the day, that big difference in fit and feel is very much down to personal preference. Nike has kind of based the Mercurial series since the Vapor 1 on this specific fit. So if that's your thing and you really like that aspect of the Mercurial, I don't think straying away from the Mercs is necessarily a great idea if you're hoping for something similar because the F50s simply just have a little bit more of that kind of softer, more pliable, dare I say knitted upper feel, which again, not necessarily a bad thing, but they don't feel as locked in and responsive and secure on your feet. They just feel, in my opinion, a little bit more comfortable. But again, personal preference plays a huge role in that. Also the sole plates, you have that little bit of a raised toe forefoot feel in the Mercurials that really do a good job of kind of putting you on your toes with that air zoom unit under feet. It gives you that sensation of being really fast. They almost are encouraging you to start sprinting where definitely in comparison, the F50s, while the sole plate still feels really good, it's much more flat and generally just a relaxed feel underfoot when compared directly to the Mercs. And unless you have one on each foot, maybe that would be a little bit difficult to feel, but certainly if you have the opportunity to try both on at the same time, please do because the difference is quite extreme. From a width and fit perspective, the difference is again, pretty significant. I think for a slightly wider foot type, the F50s in general are gonna be a little bit more comfortable for you just because you do have that pliability to the upper itself and generally just a wider base shape where the Mercurials do have that tight fit. I wouldn't say it's to the point where it's a narrow fitting shoe. I think if you've worn Mercurials in the last couple of years, these are still going to fit you. And obviously if you've worn Mercurials in the past, you kind of have an idea of how they're going to fit. Where again, if you just like that kind of squeeze your foot sensation, the Mercs do a great job of that. But if you don't love that, the F50 would certainly be a better choice. Neither I think would be a great option for somebody with extremely wide feet. And then as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing both of these boots in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So regardless of which one that you're looking to go for, I would strongly recommend going true to size. 
in order to achieve the best possible fit. But as far as picking a winner is concerned, when it comes to fit and feel on feet, again, personal preference is going to be a huge factor here. If you just want what would be considered more traditionally comfortable, definitely the F50. Whereas if you want that more kind of tech focused signature mercurial feel, the Mercs are also incredible. So in conclusion, I think what we have here is something very similar to what the difference was between Nike and Adidas boots all the way back in 2010 when the F50 Addy Zero first launched in that Nike had their super high tech super fly two at the time, which granted looking back, not a very good pair of football boots, but certainly more kind of tech focused in terms of how it compared to the super simple, but obviously very lightweight F50 Addy Zero. Obviously the weight difference is not significant like it once was. In fact, they weigh exactly the same thing. But I think if you're comparing these two football boots, it's really a matter of whether you want a more simple take on a speed boot or a much more tech focused one. The Mercs are more responsive with a tighter overall fit, have better overall lockdown, have more aggressive traction, have a more responsive and unique feel to the sole plate, and generally just feel like everything you would expect to find from a pair of top the line speed boots in 2024 where the f50 elite is far more simple i would argue it's a little bit more relaxed in its fit i would also argue that it's more comfortable and obviously just more dare i say traditional in terms of its overall construction does that make it worse to some people yes to others no if i were picking between these two as much as i like the mercurials and objectively i think there's an argument to be made that it is the better speed boot i would actually prefer to play in the f50 elite just because i prefer the feel of the upper i find them a little bit more comfortable and generally it's just more my style of football boot. In other words, if you have the Mercs right now and you love everything about the way that they feel, I think switching to the F50 might be a little bit disappointing for you. Whereas if you currently have the Mercs and would much rather have something more simple while maintaining the overall lightweight speed boot feel, I think you'll love what the new F50 has on offer. Both great football boots, but incredibly different.